So when I was growing up, one of my favorite TV series was called MacGyver. MacGyver was a former Special Forces operator that seemed to solve just about any problem he encountered with duct tape or all-purpose tape. Occasionally, he'd throw in a little bit of bubble gum or bailing wire, but the number one tool of choice was always duct tape. Anyway, many of you have asked me to test duct tape to see if there is a name brand that's better than the rest. What's interesting about this to me though is in the past we've tested Threadlocker as well as some epoxies and we've discovered that some of the lesser known name brands came out on top. So today will there be an underdog that comes out on top regarding the strength and the quality of these various types of all-purpose tapes. Anyway, let's go and get this project underway and find out which one of these, if any, is the best. The first test we'll be doing today is to determine how well these tapes will stick to a surface. The surface I've chosen is an artificial laminate. This is an old table, but this surface is very good as far as different adhesive products sticking to it. So this seems to make good sense. Also, the temperature in the room will be between 70 and 75 degrees today. I do have heat in the shop, so that's one factor that makes a big difference when it comes to how well a tape will stick. So to make this a fair test, I want to make sure that the, each tape has a fair chance to stick to the surface. In order to do that, I need to somehow apply an equal amount of force on each tape. So I'm going to use this appliance dolly, these wheels. I went ahead and cut this up for the purpose of this test. But what I'm going to do is flip this over. and apply 25 pounds of downward force directly on top of this set of wheels. Now what I'm going to do is roll this across the tape several times to make sure that every tape has the same amount of downward force applied to it. So to measure how well these tapes stick, what I've decided to do is take this container, add a funnel to it, gradually fill this with water until the tape lets go. Then we'll weigh how much this container weighs to see how well these products stack up against each other. Now I added a total of 4.7 ounces and you can see that's when it started to give. So Gorilla weighed over five pounds before it started to slide. Okay, so the T-Rex held just in wrenches alone over five pounds. I'm holding a couple of clamps in my hand because the max on this scale is five pounds. So I get an error message when I go over. So that's over five pounds. I'll weigh these in a minute. So that's four pounds, 15.6 ounces. And we add these two clamps in. We get another three ounces, 3.2 ounces. And right at five pounds of water. So all told, T-Rex held over 10 pounds. Up next, we're gonna measure the tensile strength of each of these tapes. This device that I put together includes two pipes and a hinge. This moves freely. So what I'm going to do is apply a layer, of, a solid layer of tape all around both pipes. And then we're gonna apply weight on the first red line, which is six inches out from the pivot point. And we're gonna keep applying weight until the tape breaks. And this will give us a fairly accurate tensile strength measurement. So we wanna know how much downward force this system is going to apply. So what I'll do is, measure how much downward force takes place. As you can see, it already has weight on it. Just from the weight of the bar, there's quite a bit of force that's being applied at this point here. And so what I'm gonna do is just take the 25 pound plate, measure the amount of downward force right at the base, and then each one of these pieces of tape all the way out to the end to see how much total force we get.
So far in our testing, we've measured the ability of these all-purpose tapes to stick, as well as how much strength they have lengthwise. Now we're going to measure the strength width-wise. So what I'm going to do is use this little gadget here that I've put together to apply this tape, and then I'm going to apply a downward force, and we're going to measure how much force it takes to rip the tape at this gap.
I really learned a lot during this video. I had no idea that brand made a big difference. But what we saw here though was varying levels of elasticity, tackiness, and strength which each of, each of these brands. Now, a lot of you guys have asked me to provide my opinion on these different products, and I really don't wanna do that. I really want you guys to decide for yourself which products you would buy. Um, one of the reasons for that is I'm not trying to influence a purchase. I am not sponsored by any of these companies. So if you choose to buy these products, that's fine. It doesn't help me financially. If you choose not to, again, it doesn't hurt me financially. What I'm trying to do though is just provide you with information to help you make a brand choice or make a purchase choice. Another thing that I'm interested in doing with these videos though is to put a little pressure on the underperforming brands to improve the quality of their products. To me, a lot of consumers go in and they buy a product and because they don't have the time or the resources to compare qualities, they, they continue to stick with a certain brand even though it may be a terrible product. So videos like this expose the weakness of these products and force manufacturers either, either to improve their game or to lose market share. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. Please take care and I look forward to seeing you next time.